everybody, Shazia is here. I'm out here at my mad science laboratory and uh, got a very interesting thing that I want to share with you here. Um, essentially what you're looking at right here is a one-to-one -one transformer. All this stuff that's behind here is uh, not involved in this process. I just need to clean the house. But uh, it's sparky here. <laughs> This is a one-to-one -one transformer out of a, uh, a light uh, fixture to run a light bulb. That is ah uh, this big. <laughs> That's a light bulb. Anyway, uh, I've been always wanting to get a hold of a one-to-one -one transformer because I had some ideas on Tesla's radiant energy circuit. And uh, was wanting to try to modify some of the Tesla's work there. So essentially, what I did was I took these two aluminum impellers right here, and I ran them into the uh, primary coil, and then this coil right here, which is secondary, is running into this little bridge rectifier right here. And then I have the voltmeter and an LED right there. And then off of the primary, I have this little LED nightlight bulb. And then from there, we go down to this wire right here, which is running over to that little generator right there. Alright, so I'm only going to use this generator here to uh, basically jump start it. You'll see whenever I turn it on that uh, that light comes on. Alright, now back over here if you notice the voltage is in the 20 volt range and it just jumped up to over 20 volts so I got to kick it up to the 200 volt range and then I'm going to go ahead and kick it up to the 1000 volt range showing up in high voltage right there but uh, I don't know if you can see this little LED lit up or not let me, uh, let me kill some lights here Okay. Ah, still. Not. Anyway, see that little LED lights on and all that kind of jazz. Put the lights back in. Okay. Now that's not necessarily the, the interesting part about this particular episode here. What's interesting is when I shut this off, all right, and uh, watch down here, I'm going to disconnect the power source. All right. Now, you watch that voltmeter right there. The LED still lit up. But that LED's not on. But uh, keep an eye on those numbers right there. They're starting to drop down real good. Let them drain off a bit. Okay, I'm going to speed this process up. And I'm going to short these two contacts out. And try to get this completely down to zero. Alright, we're at total zero now. Zero there. Zero there. Should be zero in the millivolts range too. Alright. Now, watch this right here whenever I take these. Uh, it should be totally drained down by now. Those capacitors shouldn't have any more charge. Now watch when I take this off.
If you keep an eye on those numbers, those numbers will continue to rise. So what I believe is going on right here, it's kind of like my uh, video that I did simple circuit. I believe this coil right here is picking up radiant energy, uh, any, any energy that might be uh, around any electrical fields around the house or whatever. And, uh, and those uh, two uh, right there are uh, basically sending electrons into the primary and actually creating somewhat of a, a small field. But either way, I've been running this experiment for uh, at least two days now, and I still haven't been able to get it to drop on its own clear back to zero. As a matter of fact, it uh, may actually made it up into one point uh, uh, five volts somewhere thereabouts. But uh, you can see the numbers are continue continuing to rise. Of course, the LED is not on. It takes about a half a volt to light an LED, but uh, that LED should be enough to drain that off to where those are actually dropping but yet they continue to rise and keep in mind that this LED is also still connected to that uh, wire that's going over to, to, to right here on each one of these aluminum plates and yet the numbers continue to, to rise now, depending on how much time I've got in this video, because I'm already up to 6 minutes and 50 seconds, depending on how high this thing actually gets. But it'll keep a steady pace like this and continue to rise. So, without doing some more researches, uh, so, excuse me, without doing some more research on this particular deal, I'm pretty well sure that you could take just about any uh, any core like this, any, any coil like this and uh, literally uh, charge up capacitors with it just with the uh, windings on there alone and uh, not exactly sure how much of the actual radiant energy is coming from here but you can see that when I put my hand on it it doesn't uh, doesn't drain or affect anything, it just continues to rise. Anyway, I thought that was really interesting and be worth looking into because uh, if you could actually do this in a proper manner, if you had a bunch of uh, old transformers, you should be able to, in theory, uh, use a whole bunch of transformers to pick up even more energy and charge those capacitors even quicker and then in turn you can uh, well essentially that's a bridge rectifier so it's already ready to charge um, <coughs> any uh, battery now I'm not sure exactly how much current I'm getting out I did want to show you what I'm talking about every time I talk about these bridge rectifiers where you're actually getting them at I'm trying to pull one of these over here, but their wires are all tangled up. Inside these little power supplies right here, if they're AC to DC, this one here looks like it's uh, 12, 120 volts to 6 volts DC output. So inside any one that's AC to DC, it will have a bridge rectifier already made in it. And so you just disconnect that from the coil inside there and then you can use that as a uh, bridge rectifier to turn your AC current into uh, DC current. So essentially that's what you're looking at right there. That's a uh, bridge rectifier out of one of those uh, just about a 12 volt power supply. Anyway you can see the numbers are still rising. See how high they get here before I actually run out of video time. So it's actually slowed down to some extent. It's still going up. So, my LED hasn't came on yet. But the voltage is still rising. So I think we're looking at a whole different... Uh, 
whole different scenario here. Not a lot of current flow, but uh, the voltage is there definitely. See it's still going up. Now keep in mind this isn't powered in any way. There's no uh, no uh, power source to it at all. Essentially you got basically a closed loop circuit. This uh, one over here going to these right here which is connected to that these two wires which is actually connected to that light bulb in the long run. And then I've uh, been trying to drain off using a, a uh, resistor and a diode trying to drain it off before it actually gets in there and that's coming out of the bridge rectifier but uh, this is based on uh, Tesla's radiant energy circuit it's just I didn't have a access to a big giant sheet of metal to put outside so I uh, basically did it with this one-to-one uh, -one transformer right here and I also took this outside as well to uh, see if there would be any difference inside the house or outside the house and I got the exact same results outside as I did inside so I uh, knew that then that there was something more going on here than uh, meets the eye because uh, regardless of uh, whether I was around any power lines or power sources of any kind, any kind of field whatsoever, it still continued to rise at the same rate. It didn't get any faster going outside and it just everything uh, exactly the way it was inside as it was outside. And we're up to 12.02 now and it's uh, still rising, steadily rising. It's uh, pretty interesting. I'm sure that if uh, you do a little tinker around with you could probably get uh, this to function a lot better than what I'm doing and maybe actually get some current flow out of it. Like I said, I done uh, unhooked the, uh, my initial start up there and uh, I'm not even sure that you even need an initial start up. I'm going to go ahead, since it's up at 0.66 right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, short these leads one more time. Shut her all the way down to zero. And you can see it's in zero in the millivolts, so there's no voltage flying. No current moving or anything. Now, the moment I take this off, Look at that. Very interesting. I had at one point attempted to uh, put some magnets at opposite poles on the sides of the transformer to see if I could speed this section up. I got uh, my magnets on there, they're on the opposite poles. Uh, we're still down in the millivolt range there. Let's go up to, let's go up to the volt range. Put 10 volts. still rising but uh, let's go back down the millivolt range for a second so something's going on there there's definitely some electron transfer going on anyway I'm coming up on my 15 minutes here I just wanted to share that with you and uh, let's give you something to think about that's just essentially a totally 100% unpowered uh, transformer actually charging a uh, capacitor and a bridge, two capacitors and a bridge rectifier and then I've got a couple aluminum impellers like I said earlier that are uh, 
basically connected into this uh, primary coil right here and initially I started firing it up with uh, this right down here which is what actually runs over to these two aluminum impellers. Anyway, I'm over my 15 minutes, so I just thought I'd share that with you. Peace and love, everybody. Let me know what you think about this uh, little deal right here, what you think's going on. I believe uh, basically like Tesla's radiant energy circuit, and I'm still working on other projects. Sorry I haven't got a lot of videos out here recently, but uh, I'm working on many projects that I'm going to get going on here pretty soon, so uh, hopefully you'll bear with me. Peace and love, everybody. Shazia is signing out.